Hello and welcome everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing Nobunaga. Now, the most observant of you may have already noticed that there is a gold medal there. That's because I'm recording the intro part of this video where I read out the objectives after completing Nobunaga for the first time. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. There's an achievement we're going for, which is just to beat this mission on hard. The petals fall and the cranes soar. The Shogun is weak, and Japan is divided. The clans vie for power, and war has come to the land. Your clan is one of many, but its claims on the Shogunate are truer than most. It is your destiny to overcome the clans, unite Japan, and rule. Only one crane will soar higher than the others. Alright, so our main objectives are to choose a clan at the Imperial Palace, and to review scouts for detailed information on each clan. Our hints tell us that we have a population limit of 200, each clan has different bonuses and begins at war with different clans. Complete a clan's secondary objective for a bonus listed below. Oda gets castles with improved range and garrisoned infantry, uh, the ability, gaining the ability to fire arrows. Takeda, cavalry archers, uh, cavalry attack faster, and Nightline has more armor. Oesugi, infantry have improved attack. Mori, villagers are stronger. Otomo, gunpowder units have improved accuracy. And Chosokabe, resources last longer. Each clan can research a special technology at the town center. And on hard difficulty, which is what we're going for here, we must defeat all the clans before the time expires. That's why uh, getting it on hard difficulty is an achievement in and of itself. Your scouts report that Oda and Yellow um, have samurai and infantry are cheaper and trained faster. Okay, I see the scouts are the scouts tab is a bit different here. Located in a strife filled region of Japan, the Oda must be resourceful to survive. They place unique emphasis on commoner soldiers and are open to promoting these Ashigaru to important positions if it means the most talented will rise. The Oda are at war with the Uisugi, Mori, and Chosokabe. Takeda in red, they, their bonus is that cavalry have charge attack and increased attack. The proud Takeda have known little peace in the contested east-central region of Honshu. If they are to unite Japan, the Takeda must focus on expansive war and train armies of superior cavalry. Such is the Takeda way. The Takeda are at war with the Uisugi, Mori, and Chosokabe. Uisugi in purple. Their bonus is that samurai regenerate to do area damage and are immune to conversion. They can also train elite samurai before other factions. They also have... Uisugi Kenshin, which is a hero that levels up by fighting. The Uisugi are devout warriors led by Uisugi Kenshin, the fearsome dragon of Ichigo. Only through his prowess will they prove that the war god favors the Uisugi clan. The Uisugi are at war with the Oda, Takeda, and Otomo. Mori in orange, ships have more hit points and are cheaper. Uh, they can build criminal networks and explosive traps. They can recruit merchants, saboteurs, and ninjas at the criminal network. Living on the western end of Honshu has encouraged the Mori to look out to the sea and to clandestine ways to exert their power. Their history of subterfuge and assassination allows them to recruit unscrupulous talents at their criminal network. The Mori are at war with the Oda, Takeda, and Otomo. The Otomo uh, in blue, their bonus is that they can train missionaries and elite conquistadors. They can also build faderias. They can train hand cannoneers and cannongalians before other factions. The Otomo rule in Kyushu in the far west. The sea gives them protection but makes eastward expansion difficult. This distance from the other clans has reaped benefits. The Otomo were the first to welcome the curious Nanban, foreigners from the south. The Otomo are at war with the, Uisugi, the Uisugi, Mori, and Chosokabe. The Chosokabe in green have uh, the bonus of archers and cavalry archers with greater range. Their lumberjacks and farmers generate gold. That's pretty cool. Wow, so with that, that's what? That's paper money and um, the vineyards tech. That's cool. Uh, can train heavy cavalry archers before other factions. The Chosokabe are isolated on Shikoku, but this isolation does not imply poverty. The island is rich in minerals and lumber and will equip the clan's superior archers. Their footholds on Honshu are fragile, but will be a foundation for their expansion. The Chosokabe are at war with the Oda, Takeda, and Otomo. All right, so for the first one, uh, as you guys will see soon, we're going to be winning this as Oda. I might go for a playthrough of each of the factions for this one. I'll likely do uh, Drake first, though. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started. Choose your clan at the Imperial Palace. To learn about each clan, read Scouts. Located in a strife-filled region of Japan, the Oda must be resourceful to survive. They place unique emphasis on commoner soldiers and are open to promoting these Ashigaro to important positions if it means the most talented will rise. You aspire to be Shogun of all Japan, but many clans stand in your way. Defeat them, and all will accept your destiny. Okay, priority is to start a boom here. Uh, first villages will all go into wood. And we'll also prioritize constructing a few fishing ships. Then we'll get a TC out here onto this stone over here. You just keep building TCs, then get a castle, get to Imperial Age, rush the enemy down. Ships in queue. It's got more villagers out online here. Okay, next build can come up here and start building the TC. Gold pile here, gold pile here, there's a relic there. I don't think I can grab it though. I think Red will probably grab it, because I don't have a monastery. And I've got other things to spend wood on right now. Okay, one more villager onto wood here. Then I can get a few onto the berries. These five will go onto stone initially. Okay, as long as he doesn't fight them, I'm okay. Okay, let's mine stone. Get more vills out onto stone here. Get another TC out onto gold later. Transition into farm soon, so let's do heavy plow preemptively. Hi. Let's also pick up bow saw. Okay, these bills come out into the center area. Let's just build ATC here. Nice and close to the home base. Get 
These vills should definitely be going onto wood. Wood is good. Okay, next few vills come out onto gold in this area. Could use another town center here. Could use another town center here, even. Let's get a TC up here as well. Let's keep wood chopping operations online here. Let's grab another fishing ship. Make sure we're using all our res nicely on developing our eco. Okay, let's grab a university. Okay, these wood choppers can come up north. Start chopping here. Pretty sure I saw some berries up here earlier. Okay, let's get that castle online. We've got lots of gold miners here. Let's uh, put them uh, onto this gold pile over here. Gold shaft mining. Let's save up for Imperial Age. We're gonna need more food. We can uh, wall this section off. We'll just slow it on the vill production just a little bit. Uh, bring these vills back onto the stone. Have these vills come out onto this area over here. Have this fill wall this section off. This will fill wall, wall this section off. Uh, let's get to the next age. We've slowed our production for this. Surely there's more fish in the water. This can't be it. Yes, there is more fish here. Okay, 
Okay, let's pick up Bodkin Arrow for our castle. Let's do infantry tax as well. Um, I'm gonna build a few barracks here. Also gonna get some skirmishers online. You'll see why later. I can keep producing bills now. Pick up squires, iron casting. Definitely need more food because we're booming this whole time. Yeah, we've been booming this whole time. Hi, Pikeman, Arson, soon in the Imperial Age. Let's get a few trebs online. Okay, you bills go on wood. We're definitely short wood now. Okay, you'll see why I trained these skirmishers in a sec. Mori's got like landmines here. And if we walk melee units into them, they just get absolutely turbo tracked. So we need to do a little bit of mine sweeping. Okay, let's do brace attack here. Okay, it's repairing the mine. Okay, let's grab chemistry, ballistics. Have these bills come mine this gold over here. We have like uber cheap top of here, so let's leverage that. Oh, no, 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 no. 
That is indeed a fiery mine there. Let's keep mine sweeping. Okay, this is fine. Let's keep uh, our text coming along. Engineers will be useful. Let's pick up Katapuruto here. Okay, there's still mines in the countryside here. Okay. More is still stuck in Castle Age, so we're doing a good amount of damage in here. Just be careful of more minefields. And let's focus down this castle now. Let's do commoner promotions. Okay, losing a bit of navy, that's okay. Pick up War Galley Tech. Mori have been defeated. I'm gonna take these units and rotate them back down this way. Okay, to cater in the Imperial Age, that suits me just fine. Let's do shipwrights, cleaning. Okay, 
行きます勝てますごめんよ承知はっよいにいざ承知のとおりいざ承知のとおりいざ承知のとおりいざ承知のとおり Okay, next move is to get to purple. Take those guys out.、Uh, do I have a monastery? Have I seriously not built a monastery this whole time? Let's build a monastery. Let's pick up Devotion Tech. Send these guys back to work farming. Send you guys back to work as well. Okay, pick up the last lumber upgrade here. Anything else from university? Let's get this, this, this. The ship, let's do dry dock at the dock. Get some more docks online. ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめん
Let's set up on this castle. Okay, there is lots of minerals over here. Good. Okay, we know purple's not out because... Okay, there's probably another castle back here that we just can't see. We know purple's not out because, yep, they're still producing units. They must still have... I think it's castles and town centers that need to be destroyed, and that's it. If we wipe out this castle... Growing power brings fear there we to go. the other clans. They set aside their differences and unite against you. They too will fall like the others. Okay, this is fine. We've got lots of relics to capture. Uh oh, red's against us now. Okay, we can grab those three relics. Can't tell if these guys are looking for relics or if they're looking for conversions. I think they're looking for relics. So let's just keep rotating southwards here. That's a good number of the enemies over there, sorted. To knock out stables were applicable. If I could get a couple trebuchets fighting this area from two prong attack, that'd be good. Let's pack these bad boys up. Okay, 
Definitely liking that I put these castles here. So looking to knock out town centers and castles. G Samurai is so ludicrously cheap that I can just spam them in. They train so fast, too. Okay, there's definitely a castle in the south there. Let's uh, bring some units over this direction. These guys can probably hit the castle from this area. This is just shallows here, in fact, so... There's a direct crossing. Up, you guys come over here, start mining that gold. Probably nothing more than north. Okay, that is red down. What do we have left? We have two more clans. We have green. We have green left. Okay, that's fine. Um, first things first. Let's bring all our units down south here. And uh, we've lost a lot of units. Let's train a bunch of fire ships and lead cannon galleons here. We are low wood, as a matter of fact. Lost a lot of villagers as well at some point. Uh, let's find that stone up there. Let's have you mine this gold over here. Or dock text, it seems like we do. I think we can complete the rest of this via a naval assault. Yeah, that was a nice interception there. Only one transport ship, so the amount of damage it could do is limited. Let's start taking on the enemy navy here. Two remaining clans seem to be water-based, so we're going to use a naval approach.
Let's crawl up the coast here. Put all these guys into the transport ships. Let's try to shell that castle over there. Keep knocking down docks. Like this area's been cleared of green already. Yeah, let's start showing green. Is one castle down. There's a transport ship over here. There's another castle here. Okay, let's take that bad boy out. Oh, not trade cars, I need galleys. Okay, so we knock down another castle. That's good. Didn't mean to produce these cogs. Sorry, bud. Okay, don't see anything super substantial in this area. Let's keep scouring the coastline. Knock down this tower so we can get closer. 26 minutes left. There's likely a town center around here somewhere. Just as if on cue. Gold anywhere? Yeah, let's head all the way over here, so you're not idle. Let's bring these guys to the south point over here. Okay, there's probably like a TC or something over here. Okay, 
Yeah, there is indeed a town center. Hopefully that's the last one. I guess there could be another one over here on the east side. I think they might be rebuilding them, which is the issue. Oh, there's a castle there. Can I hit that castle? Okay, it doesn't look like I can. That's gonna be problematic. to stage a landing here. Oh, they're rebuilding them. Nineteen minutes left to deal with blue. Uh, let's start heading over in this direction. Let's have our units hop into the transport here. Okay, let's get a good exploration of the southern tip of this island here. With all these guys inside these transport ships. Probably don't need these villagers anymore. Okay, this southern island seems pretty barren. Let's go north. That castle up here is definitely very shellable. 17 minutes remaining. Okay, let's begin naval artillery bombardment first. Sixteen minutes left. We do know that the enemy rebuilds castles. So we definitely should make an effort to drop a landing force here. Come 
命令をはっ王承知No, no, why'd they all get back out, man? That's not what I wanted them to do at all. Okay, get back into the transport, please. Okay, 14 minutes left. And we here as Cannon Galeans. Which of these boats is the empty boat? Okay, none of them. Screw it. No, I just did it again, man! This is so why? I'm wasting so much time here. Okay, we're back in the boat. Just right click. I'm not gonna unload, just right click. Twelve minutes remaining. Prioritize town centers wherever we see them. Eleven minutes. Okay, now we land here. We know that at least one TC in castle exists, or castle. There is a castle down here. The other clans have been cowed into submission. Okay. They are forced to accept your inevitable destiny as Shogun. All right, not too bad. I did throw a little bit there with the the transport play that probably burned at least 20 or 30 seconds for no reason at, at least maybe a whole minute um but we'll go do the ending cinematic here and then i'll make some more gathered comments your victory was your destiny the other clans opposed you but they fell like petals on lake baiwa they now bow to you and the emperor calls you shogun you have united japan and brought a new age. All right, pretty basic ending there. Um, but that was Nobunaga played uh, on hard difficulty, so achievement unlocked within the timer. We saw 10 minutes left, so a good amount of time. I think, so I'll probably end up playing this mission. Uh, I might not do it. I'll probably try to play this with uh, every faction. There's five other factions that we didn't play as. I figured that Oda would be the most appropriate one because that's the namesake of the mission. So if you're going for this achievement with Oda specifically, my recommendation is just boom up really fast, really early. Um, you don't really need the secondary objective. You don't need to lock yourself in the Castle Age. I think it's much more valuable to get to the Imperial Age than to try to defeat a clan before reaching Imperial Age. My pathing of choice here is you start out at war with orange, green, and purple. I think the most effective way to go about this is to uh, come kill orange first before they boom up because their town center, they have like a TC in the castle here, and then they have a single castle in the north. 
Uh, they will eventually continue to push west with more town centers if you leave them up. So I highly suggest getting into Imperial fast off the back of your boom. Then while Moria is still stuck in the Castle Age, use your uh, super cheap samurai and other infantry to make a fast push to an annihilate orange really early. If you do that, then uh, you can rotate up and attack purple. So while you're attacking orange, notice that they do have a bunch of landmines as well. Um, first time I played through this mission off screen um, with my first attempt, that wrecked a lot of my forces, including a bunch of trebuchets. I had no idea what was going on. Uh, so this time around, I trained some skirmishers to uh, help minesweep, even though I didn't um, use them for combat at all. Uh, just having skirmishers to minesweep um, made the initial attack here much easier. Anyhow, afterwards, you crawl up this direction. Red will still be at war with purple, so red will be helping you out. Uh, as you come up here and kill purple, they have... Oh, nice gold pile there, wow. They have a couple castles here, a TC here, a castle here, so crawling up this northeastern path and building a couple of castles to reinforce your position and get samurai production you know, closer to you um, is pretty key here. As soon as you beat these guys, uh, two out of the three factions will be done, which means um, the remaining factions will align against you, so your ally Red will be against you once again. Red has some pretty powerful cavalry. Don't be scared if the initial force that they come out, out uh, come at you with is very intimidating. So long as you're trading decently with halberdiers and samurai, uh, their initial wave will be their strongest wave after which they need to produce. If you can keep the momentum up, you'll be able to take care of red pretty easily as well. At this point, all that will be left will be green and blue. Uh, blue is... Oh my gosh, this is a massacre. Blue is very, very much rangeable um, from the sea. Uh, all of their installments seem to be cannon alienable. Uh, however, for the Chosokabe, you should be a bit careful about initially destroying their castles from, uh, from the sea. They do rebuild them. I'm pretty sure they rebuilt this castle here, and I was not able to hit it with my canning aliens, even though I could hit most of their original structures with the canning aliens, their rebuilt castle is the one that I could not hit, I believe. And so th thankfully you should have plenty of leftover forces from, uh, from your attack on red. So you can stage a landing here and rush treb down uh, any castles that are unhittable from the water for the Chosokabe. But that is something to, to note. Uh, on the water, just fire ships are very good. Uh, Canning aliens, of course, are very nice. Don't forget to get all the relevant technologies. And uh, yeah, this was pretty fun. I'm not, again, a huge fan of having timers. Uh, they do add a little bit of artificial uh, urgency to the mission. I don't think that really improved my gameplay experience here by too much. I guess it did get me to kill Mori a bit earlier. Um, but it is non-trivial and it is the hard difficulty, so I guess I can kind of get behind that. I am playing uh, faster than I would normally. Normally I like to kind of just chill and uh, use my macro and stuff. But uh, yeah, very nice, fun mission. Thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.